this video, I'll be showing you how to replace the Z slider ball nut and ball screw on the Onefinity CNC. Let's get started. With the front of the Z slider face down on a table, we can remove the eight bolts from the back of the Z slider, removing the mounting plates. With these mounting plates removed, we can now loosen the two set screws on the bottom bracket of the Z slider. With those two set screws loosened, we can slide the bracket off of the bottom of the two Z slider rods. We will also want to remove that bearing and place it back inside of the bracket so we don't lose it for later. Our next step is going to be to loosen the two bolts on the top of the ball nut. By loosening these two bolts, we will release the spindle mount from the ball nut, allowing it to be removed from the Z slider. With these bolts removed, we can now slide the spindle mount off of the Z slider. Next, we're going to loosen the set screw on the ball screw side of the coupler. Once loosened, this will allow us to remove the ball screw along with the ball nut. Important, never remove the ball nut from the ball screw. With the set screw on the coupler loosened, we can remove the ball screw from the coupler. Next, we remove the black coupler on the top of the ball screw by loosening the four set screws on it. We can now take our new ball screw with ball nut we will slide the black coupler over the ball screw, but we're not going to tighten that down just yet. We can now insert the new ball screw into the coupler, and we will tighten down the set screw on the bottom side of the coupler. With our coupler secured, we can now slide our black coupler up our ball screw. We're going to leave a small gap at the top of this between the bracket and the coupler. Then we can tighten down our four set screws, locking it in place. Now it's time to reinstall our spindle mount. We want to make sure the hole for the oil port is towards the back of the spindle mount and Z slider. Once we're sure we have the correct orientation, we will slide the spindle mount back on and we'll use the two bolts we removed earlier to secure it in place. With our spindle mount reinstalled, we can now attach the bottom bracket to the Z slider. Face the concave side of the bracket towards the front of the Z slider and slide it into place. Once it is slid all the way onto the Z slider, we can tighten down the set screws. Lastly, we can reattach the mounting plates using the eight bolts we removed earlier. This concludes swapping the ball nut on the Onefinity CNC Z slider.